Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be doing another Hollyoaks Q&A. This one will be my Hollyoaks Q&A, part Okay, cool. And these questions come from the Progosts. These are the other two from the five that I mentioned. I said that I would do two or three and then two. Or I would do three and then two. But I did three in the first one, so this is the other two. Alright, um, so yeah, if you guys have your own Karina questions, you uh, should know what to do. But if you're new here and you, you know, if you're, new, if you're newly subscribed and you're not sure how to send me Karina questions, Come out this video, click on my name, which will take you to the homepage of my channel. Click on the About tab in the channel, and you'll find everything you need to send me your Q&A questions and video suggestions. Or you can just comment them to me in the comment section in any video. Uh, you do have to be signed in. You do have to be subscri uh, not subscri subscribed. You do have to be signed in to YouTube to uh, do any of that. So, um, so yeah, so sign up to YouTube and send me your Q&A questions and your video suggestions as well. Um, so yeah, these questions come from the progress, and I'll get straight into them. Uh, will Grace's... The, there's only two questions there. But, yeah. Um, will Grace and Trevor's wedding continue? Okay, so um, we saw recently that Kim made her way into um, the prison with Grace. And I don't want to spoil it because this was yesterday's. And the Channel 4 people... I know there are some Channel 4 people um, who only watch the Channel 4 one. I won't spoil what happened, but she kind of uh, meddled with like Grace's emotions. I'm talking about Kim. Um, I think it will still go ahead. There'll be some bumps along the road and stuff like that. Obviously, like you guys saw with Leela and Ziggy's wedding, there was a lot of bumps in the road, and um, it almost didn't happen, kind of thing. Um, but I think it will go on. I don't know whether Trevor will find out what happened with Kim and Grace or, um, you know, the whole situation there. Of course, Kim got rid of the book that she had with all the photos of Grace and stuff. I don't, was it the entire, like, uh, sketchbook kind of thing? I wonder if it was, it looked like the entire thing was covered with pictures of Grace and, you know, Grace and Kim forever and stuff like that. So that's pretty, like, Kim's kind of really starting to lose it, especially after, um... The other day when she went in that room and started slamming things around and that. So, yeah, Kim's really starting to lose it. Um, of course, she seemed like a perfectly normal and nice character when she first came in. Just like every other character that comes in. I'm sure the Love Days as well still had their little secret. We haven't really seen much of them, the Love Days. Uh, I don't want to go too off topic here, but we haven't really seen much of them. And, um, I don't know, maybe they're just slowing things down a bit because they've got a lot of storylines going on at the moment. And uh, they have a tendency to kind of pile on storylines a little bit. So uh, maybe they're just slowing things down a little bit and showing less of the love days and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think it will go ahead. I think it will be relatively fine. I um, I kind of want Esther to find out what Kim did because, you know, it's betrayal. You know, because she cheated on Esther. Um, but at the same time, I really like Kim and Esther, and I don't want them to break up, but then, you know, Kim cheated and stuff like that, so, um, I think the wedding will be fine, but I think there will be some bumps in the road. Um, so the next question is, what are your thoughts on the new Kim, on the new Butterfield Kim's twin, which is called, uh, Kath? Yeah, um, we haven't really seen, which of course she hasn't had any lines yet. Um, I don't know whether she is, I don't like using the word disabled, but I don't know whether she, what her condition is, I, I'll say that, I don't know what her condition is, and whether she can speak, it doesn't look like she can, um, whether she is, I don't know, was she, she wasn't in a coma, was she, or anything, uh, we didn't get a great look at her, but it kind of just looked like she was just frozen, so I don't know. Like, I don't want to say anything too bad, but, um, 
Um, we'll have to see what like the past is with that and everything. Of course, she's twins. Kim's twin, not twins. <laughs> Kim's twin. Um, and we need to find out really why Lindsay tried so hard not to let Kim see her. Like, what is, you know, this is, I, I like the mysteries like this, like with Patrick's um, illness. We all tried to work out for so long what was going on and that. Like with the hand glove killer and stuff, we're all trying to work out what's going on. So I, li I like the mystery that this show brings sometimes. I know it's not like a show like Lost or anything where you have like sci-fi mystery and stuff. But, you know, mysteries in terms of like what what's happening to the characters and stuff. So, um, yeah, I think we could get the uh, a separate episode with the three of them. Lindsay, Kim and uh, Kath. I think that would be really cool to see. Kind of like they did with um, Tony and um, Diane. I also got, I'll quickly go over a comment from the Pro Ghosts. He said, is it Diane's house that they're all living in? Yeah, I kind of picked up on that a little bit. You've got Scott, John Paul, Tony, Dee Dee, and the other baby. The twins, that's two of them. Yeah, I'll go over them again. Sorry, the twins, that's two. And then Sinead, Tony, Diane, Scott, John Paul, Sinead. I think I said Sinead twice. You've got a lot of people living in that house. And I know there's an upstairs. But I think it's like f over five people. And like I know um, John Paul and Steve would maybe share a room. And then um, I don't know if Tony and Diane are sharing beds at the moment or anything. But um, yeah there's a lot of people living in that house. You kind of had the same situation with the boat. Remember you had like um, Holly. I'm sure you had Cindy at one point. You had. Uh, Dodger, Dirk, Jason, was it Jason? Uh, yeah, you had a lot of people living on the boat as well, so um, yeah, it's confusing sometimes with that as well. Like with the pub, that's kind of a similar situation. But um, yeah, I, I like the, the mystery and the storyline behind Kath and behind the storyline and everything. Um, I'm really excited to see what happens with that and what the like mystery is there and um, find out what happened. It should be really awesome. Um, so yeah, that concludes this kind of short um, Q and A part thirty three. I don't. I think my phone can only hold about ten minutes at the moment because I have some podcasts saved up and stuff. So I wanted to get through this a little bit quickly. But um, yeah, if you guys like this video, please thumb it up. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. Share it on your Facebook, Twitter, everything like that. Um, I'll do some more. Uh, that's it for this week. Basically, I did do five videos this week. I managed to do it. Um, I have some more videos for you guys next week. I have some more Q&A questions. I have some um, viewer requested discussion topics, that kind of thing. So plenty of videos to fill out next week as well. And yeah, have a nice weekend, you guys. And um, if you're new here, you want to subscribe, subscribe. Come out this video. Come out this video. You'll see my name and then you'll see subscribe next to it. So come out this video and click subscribe below. If you're not signed up to YouTube, just sign up. It doesn't take too long, and you can subscribe to my channel and all other types of channels as well. Um, so for all of your Hollyoaks videos, stay tuned to my channel, and I'll see you guys next week. Have a nice weekend. Cheers.